Blood pressure is the amount of pressure inside of the arteries measured in millimeters of mercury when the heart beats and when the heart does not beat. So when the heart contracts and squeezes blood out of the heart into the arteries, that is what's called the systolic number. So imagine your arteries are like garden hoses and when the water or blood in this case is being pushed through that hose, there's a certain amount of pressure inside the artery and that pressure is measured and is represented by the first number. The second number is when the heart relaxes. There's still blood in your arteries, it's just that the heart is not actively pushing the blood through the arteries, so the number is usually smaller and that's also known as the diastolic number. There are three ways to lower your blood pressure. Number one is to lose weight. Many people don't understand this, but fat and adipose tissue are metabolically active. They are living tissue and this living tissue requires blood supply because it requires nutrients and it requires oxygen. So when you take a person, let's say you weigh 150 pounds and you add 60 pounds of fat to that person, so now they weigh 210 pounds, that requires more blood vessels and more space. The heart has to work harder in order to pump blood to those areas to supply blood and nutrients to those new cells, those adipose cells. This raises your blood pressure. In addition to that, the physiological things that have to happen in your body hormonally as well as chemically require too much tension on the heart and thus your blood pressure goes up. So losing weight is the first thing that you can do to lower your blood pressure. The second thing that you can do to lower your blood pressure is to reduce stress. Right above our kidneys is a gland called the adrenal gland and this secretes many hormones, one in particular called cortisol. And what cortisol does chronically is it has negative effects on our body, particularly our arteries, and will cause our arteries to become stiffer and less compliant. This is what raises the blood pressure. So altering your stress can affect your blood pressure. The third and final thing that you can do to lower your blood pressure is to alter your diet. The goal of any diet, whether you follow a keto diet, a carnivore diet, a vegetarian diet, a vegan diet, just a balanced diet, all diets what they have in common is to reduce processed foods. So the less processed foods you have, the less inflammatory markers you'll have in your body and thus your blood pressure will go down. Now as far as processed foods are concerned, it's important that you remove certain foods that create inflammation and introduce foods that promote health. There are many herbs that actually lower our blood pressure and I would encourage you to look further into that. Herba Mama's YouTube channel, link below, goes further into detail on how certain natural herbs can help with your blood pressure. Here, Master Herbalist Kieran Parsons discusses the benefits of using herbs for blood pressure. Go check out their page, like, and subscribe. Now, why is it important that you lower your blood pressure? What's the big deal if it's a little high? The answer is that the higher the blood pressure, the more likely you're gonna succumb to a stroke, heart attack, or heart disease. A blood pressure that's 120 over 80 is considered normal and healthy. And when you start to increase your systolic or your diastolic numbers, it increases your risk for these diseases. In fact, 20 millimeters of mercury systolic or 10 millimeters of mercury diastolic increase from that normal doubles your risk of mortality from these conditions. So getting your blood pressure right is one of the best things you can do for your health and that's the purpose, uh, one of the purposes of this channel. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns, uh, I will go to the comment section and look at questions and answer some of those questions. So if you have a question or a concern, put your comment down in the comment section and I will see what I can do to try to help you. If there's a question that happens that's very common, that a lot of people are answer, asking, I may actually make another YouTube video as a follow-up for this to answer that questions. And that's simply so I don't have to answer and type the same answer for everyone. So put your question down there 
and I will get to it as soon as I can.